Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to our weekly CO2 review. Today we're going to be looking at the 47th CO2 report of 2020. Before I start the review, if you're new to CO2 analysis, then do check out our website where we offer a lot of uh, educational material, not only in written format, but we also have some very useful videos too. Okay, back to the review and starting off with our first market, the orange juice market, where we have a 23% change in commercials positions. You can see that change size over there. Uh, basically, we have uh, both uh, commercials and large speculators below the zero line, as you can see. So only uh, small speculators are optimistic about that uh, about this market. As you can see, there are roughly um, almost 2,000 contracts net long. So this change, of course, if we are talking about commercials, uh, it is larger than average. Uh, we've seen much greater changes in the past. Nevertheless, it's uh, sizable that uh, we can talk about it. It is coming after some rally in the market, so it is um, suggesting we may see a bit of a rebound now, uh, a little bit of um, pullback in, in prices. Uh, if we move on to the five years chart, then of course we can analyze the COT extreme situation. We are more or less in between the two extremes, so not much to talk about uh, with regard to the COT extreme. Uh, it's mainly the COT chain signal that uh, we can act upon. The next market is Brazilian Real with a 13% change in commercials positions. Oh, by the way, I've, I've received many questions. Uh, so when I say large speculators, uh, that's referring to the non-commercials, okay? So uh, if you've heard this term non-commercials, those are basically uh, large speculators and non-reportables are the small speculators. Um, okay, so Brazilian Real, we have a 13% change over there, a bit larger than average. We're talking about a currency, so 13% is, uh, I would say, can be considered larger uh, than average, suggesting some weakness coming in the next few days. Uh, jumping to the five years chart, uh, we can see that we are uh, a little bit closer to bullish extreme levels, but uh, uh, definitely not at the... Uh, in case of commercials, 50,000 contracts net long level where we were in December of 2019. So uh, that suggests that we can still go on, grind a little bit sideways. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, the, the trend can uh, shift, but uh, one thing's for sure, stress levels are not at historical highs, that's for sure. Okay, live cattle is going to be the next market with a 10% change uh, in commercials positions, there's an 11% change in uh, large speculators. So here we go. Um, of course, it's more visible on the one year's chart. Nothing unusual. A bit larger than average, but I wouldn't really uh, take this as a huge signal. Uh, let's have a look at the five years chart. Again, uh, not much to talk about over here. Uh, I would say it's a little bit leaning towards the bullish side of the market. Uh, you can see back in March of 2020, uh, just before that bottom developed in the, the market, we had a, an extreme, but we're still almost at those levels. So, you know, this suggests we could easily find live cattle prices steadily move higher from here. Okay, moving on to large speculators, COT Extreme. We've got a lot of currencies to talk about, starting with the New Zealand dollar with 131 report extreme in large speculators. So, in other terms, non-commercials. Uh, you can see the green line over there, uh, and uh, it's it's a large extreme. Uh, it is bearish, of course, uh, but uh, you know, go look back at the by this five years chart and back over here in uh, April of 2018, we've seen even greater extremes, uh, or back in uh, July of 2017, a much greater extreme then. So you know, this just draws your attention to the fact that uh, extremes can you know widen for many many weeks or a month before. Uh, the market reacts to that signal. So stress levels are building up in the New Zealand dollar, no question about that. Uh, it is a bearish signal suggesting in the medium long term uh, we might see a shift in the trend and we could see lower prices coming. Okay, the Euro British pound pair is our next market. Here we have a 43 report extreme in large speculators which you know in itself wouldn't mean too much but if you look at that uh, on the chart you can see more or less where it is. Uh, and again, you know, we're talking about a market that has very, very short history, so uh, it's it's hard to tell what that really means. But you know, in, in historical sense, it's not at its most bullish extreme levels. That's for sure. Uh, I would really wait another couple more years to really get enough historical data to 
be able to use that as a, a signal. But you can always, of course, analyze the euro market separately, uh, the British pound market separately, and then come to a conclusion if you're trading the euro British pound. That's also at your disposal. So that's something you can do. OK, last market for this review, the South African ran again, a market with uh, uh, not much history uh, on the five years chart. You can see uh, that we are more or less in between the two extremes, uh, getting closer to bearish extreme levels. So, you know, you can say that, well, this is a relative bearish extreme, uh, definitely supports, uh, uh, you know, if you have, if someone pointed a gun to my head, what, what should I say? Well, I'd definitely, um, uh, be leaning towards a bearish picture rather than bullish. Uh, but you know, not much, not much, not much to talk about. Uh, but there's a lot more to do here at COT Base. Don't forget that we have tons of materials, a lot of equipments and tools to analyze COT reports. Uh, of course, you can always uh, look at other market categories. Uh, you can look at new COT report types, other data types, or analyze specific data sets that you want to uh, dig deep into. Uh, we also offer uh, the COT change analysis, uh, not only one report changes, uh, comparing those to a defined look back period, but you can actually look at multiple report reports on a defined look back period. You can analyze the COT index, the COT move index. We've got a wonderful long term trend indicator, volume and open interest analysis also available. And of course, you can always go back in time and do historical analysis uh, on any uh, uh, COT report. Um, I appreciate your attention. Thank you very much for being with me. I wish you a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.